Baltimore Police Lieutenant Brian Rice will learn his fate Monday. Attorneys wrapped up the closing arguments with some fireworks in the courtroom. Rice is the highest ranking officer facing charges in the arrest and death of Freddie Gray. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Hall with what we can expect. Mike? Uh, Jessica, the defense said Lieutenant Rice acted as any officer would in his dealings with Freddie Gray, and he was forced to make a split-second decision under dangerous conditions. Prosecutors painted Rice as uncaring, even calling him a jerk. Monday will be Judgment Day for Lieutenant Brian Rice. In their closing arguments, prosecutors stressed his rank and said if he had any compassion, Freddie Gray would still be alive today. Prosecutor Jan Bledsoe said he had the power and control to punish and humiliate Freddie Gray. To justify his actions, he blames the victims. He blames the community. The simple failure to restrain somebody, a prisoner, with that seatbelt in and of itself is not a criminal act. But the defense says Gray was combative, and Lieutenant Rice faced a volatile crowd that it was too dangerous to secure Gray with a seatbelt. Rice's attorney, Michael Belsky, said his client acted professionally and reasonably. He said the theory of this prosecution sets a very dangerous precedent. Judge Barry Williams has expressed doubts over whether or not using a seatbelt is a crime. The critical question in the case is, what did he know? What was his own mental state at the time he failed to secure Mr. Gray? State's attorney Marilyn Mosby watched the closing statements from the front row. She's faced criticism for moving forward with the prosecutions after failing three times to get a conviction. She has no choice but to continue prosecuting and hope that at some point there will be justice for the victim of this crime. The state, unless they have something more than they've shown so far, and we know that they, they don't, then uh, they're going to continue to suffer the same result, which is losing. Judge Williams will read his verdict at 10 Monday morning. And prosecutors say Lieutenant Rice's motive was because he was upset at Freddie Gray yelling and screaming when he was originally arrested. Three charges remain against Lieutenant Rice, manslaughter, reckless endangerment, and misconduct in office. Live at City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ Eyewitness News. All right, Mike, thank you. So here's what you need to know in the trial of Lieutenant Brian Rice. Closing arguments have concluded. The prosecutor did admit the grave probably kicked the doors of the police van because he was angry. The judge will decide whether or not to convict Rice of three charges, reckless endangerment, involuntary manslaughter, and misconduct in office. The verdict will be read Monday morning at 10 a.m. Stay with WJZ for complete coverage of the trial of Lieutenant Brian Rice. We will have live coverage of the verdict on Monday starting at 10 a.m.